We're now going to review uh, issue processing. We've already created an issue and we have one um, that's, that's in the, the uh, quality issue management um, system already. So um, now we've run our work list here and we've identified that yes we want to work with um, this specific issue. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the, the link and when this opens up we'll notice now that we have uh, you know some additional information, some additional um, fields that we normally wouldn't see um, coming out of creating a quality issue out of the, uh, the issue guided screen. So we've got a lot of information here now. Um, we've got our general overview um, which allows us to, to quickly see what uh, uh, text and information we do have about the issue that needs to be processed. We've got a business partners tab which uh, shows us all the identified people that we do have within the issue processing part of it. Um, we have also have you know, our attachments area um, as well as activities. And, and reference objects and then if we're going to use defects, um, causes and, and effects uh, you know, in processing issues then we'll, we'll see uh, that information too as well. So I'm going to go ahead now and select the edit icon up here which is now going to allow us to um, you know, do, some additional inf um, do some additional processing here. Um, one thing we'll want to do is we're going to now set uh, this quality issue to uh, in process and over here on, on the right you see that there is also another um, status that uh, you know could be used further um, you know down the road for issue processing which allows it to to have a, a validate status as well so now once we have saved um, or, or set our issue status to in process we can say yes this truly is going to be um, you know an, a quality issue so we do want to go further now with the processing of it um, and, and by doing so that may be um, you know that some now some workflow communication is going out and notifying the appropriate people that we do have um, you know an issue here that, that needs to be addressed now. I'm going to go ahead and select the activities um, section and again, we'll, we'll, um, we can see here that we have the option of, um, you know, having some additional activities, um, you know, within our processing part of it. And, you know, these activities can be discussed, you know, further um, on how you might want to use them, like, within your own process. Um, we've had one um, for this initial one. We, we've set a person responsible for it. Um, but later, um, you know, thinking about BRF Plus down the road, we can assign, um, you know, individuals and or, you know, groups of, um, a, a, or of people within the, the BRF Plus, um, you know, partners decision table on who needs to be notified, um, you know, at the issue level as well as, you know, who, ne who can be I identified at the activity level too as well. Um, so we've got, you know, two parts to this. We've got this upper part section up here, um, and then we've also got this lower section, um, which allows us to have some additional information, uh, you know, by activity. So if I scroll down some, I've highlighted this, this line, and it's the activity that says perform recall, recall analysis. So if I scroll down, each activity is going to have this activity overview section, which allows um, you know, it further processing, um, whether you're going to be adding some additional text here. Um, say short description. And then here's the long text. So that allows us to you know, enter some additional information as well as um, you know, maybe a, a response um, down here and dates are always going to need to be identified um, on, you know, from time to time on how we're going to use them um, as, as well as uh, you know, if they're going to be needed or not. Um, you know, there's always going to be a person responsible 
um, but we can do that up here too as well um, if you'd like to, to look at uh, you know this up here at this uh, line item level we can always go out and look for somebody and say you know what I'm gonna have Mike he's gonna be a part of the process here and um, you know this is gonna be his, his step here uh, too as well so um, in addition to that um, two activities once somebody has been assigned um, they'll get notified you know that they have been assigned and either they can um, there, there's a, a few different ways that they can look at you know these activities as well um, if we decide to allow them to get into the quality issue and process the, you know the activities from here that that's great otherwise there is an activity work list that can be run so Mike could say well I'm gonna run my activity work list and see everything that had been assigned to me um, and in doing so um, he would only see um, this type of information down here specific to his own activity um, you know that had been assigned to him you know within the process so if Mike were to come in and say you know what I I've seen everything here um, he can either set it to in process um, and then save or he could have just came in and you know completed that activity too as well so I'm gonna go ahead and just complete the activity um, so you know this part of it shows that um, he now has completed you know the activity so um, he has his done or uh, has completed his part uh, you know to the uh, issue processing part of, of, of this uh, this quality issue